Hello and welcome. My name is Natalie and this is Flamin' Hot Reviews. Today I have a very special episode for you. An extra spicy episode, as a matter of fact. Just when you thought that it couldn't get hotter, it couldn't get more flamin' hotter than Flamin' Hot Cheetos, Frito Lays hits us with Cheetos. Extra flamin' hot crunchy Cheetos. Can you believe this? Twice as hot. I mean, we're, you know, we're already looking at Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Already has a reputation as a, uh, as a fairly spicy snack. You know, not for the faint of heart. Not the spiciest product out there, of course, but certainly not something for a beginner. And they hit us with, with this. Extra. I mean, look at how they spelled extra. It's got two X's. Two X's! You know that means that they're challenging us. Challenging me specifically. And I am here to answer the call. Now I want to start off this by saying I am pretty acclimated to spicy foods. Uh, my palate is, is fairly refined. Uh, I have eaten some very spicy things in my day. Uh, so this will be interesting to see. Now of course they claim it is twice as hot as your standard Cheetos. Um, there's a little bit more on the back uh, that I'm going to read as well. Uh, so, they, so they have on here, they pose a question, they say, what's a serving? 21 Cheetos brand extra hot flaming hot flavors snacks make a serving. If you can handle all that heat, then wow, you're most deserving. What more can you do with 21 Cheetos snacks? That is a, that is an interesting question. Now they also have a statement that says, eat them with 21 sips of water before the thermometer cracks. So apparently 21 Cheetos is the recommended amount from Chester Cheetah himself for what, how much you are supposed to eat uh, in order to, to, I suppose, be full or get enough spicy, cheesy goodness. Now, I am not going to eat 21 Cheetos. Uh, I sit here and, and eat them on camera. Uh, unless you guys really want me to. That seems a little silly. Uh, however, leave a comment if you'd like to see a video of me eating 21 Cheetos, and I will certainly make it uh, if the demand is there. Now, they say that they are twice as hot compared to regular uh, Flamin' Hot Cheetos. So I suppose we'll have to see, and let's go ahead and jump in. Um, I will say that I have tried these before. This is not a completely blind uh, blind taste test, but um, nevertheless, I will be trying to judge them uh, completely objectively. So uh, first off, let's take a look at them. Now you can see they have a very similar look to the standard Cheeto, you know, not still that same, you know, bright red, what we've come to expect. So nothing too different there. Um, but let's see how it is. I'm going to try a couple and we'll get into the review. Okay, all right. Well, I think I've collected enough data to uh, to form pretty solid, pretty solid review. So uh, normally I kind of start off with the spiciness, but I or you know I normally start with texture, then spicy, then flavor. Sometimes I switch them. This time I'm going to do spicy last because I think that's the most important aspect here. So I'm going to start with the texture. They're Cheetos. What can I say? Uh, I'm not going to talk about this too much. They're the Cheetos you know and love. They've made no differences here, and I think that's very smart. Crunchy Cheetos, absolutely delicious. Um, so five out of five. Right off the bat, texture. Uh, they don't need to do anything different. It's not broke, don't fix it. So five out of five for texture. Fantastic. Crunchy Cheetos. Moving on. Flavor-wise. Now, flavor-wise, they definitely taste a lot like Flamin' Hot Cheetos. I know. Surprise, surprise. That being said, that being said, still getting a lot of those cheesy notes. You know, this nice, sharp cheddar you know, that comes from, that you find on the original Cheetos and of course in Flamin' Hot. Uh, one of my favorite aspects is, of course, the, the cheese paired with the spice. I think they balance each other out really well. And I think that that is doing this here in this product. The cheddar cheese flavor is very present. Um, 
certainly, you know, is here. It's good. And, and even though the spiciness has been amped up, uh, it still shines through very well. Um, so I really like to see I'm, I'm glad that they achieved that. That was something I was, I was a little worried about was that the spiciness would kind of cover up the cover up the cheese and then we wouldn't get any of that. So we're still getting that. Still getting those corn notes from, you know, of course, uh, Cheetos being cornmeal based, uh, sort of like air puffed snacks. Still getting that. So you get those corn notes, those cheese notes that you get from the classic Flamingo Cheetos, extra ever present. Now, that being said, the cayenne notes are much, much more prominent, much more on the tongue. And I will say, the cheese is almost more of a secondary flavor. The first thing that you really taste when you bite into one of these is the cayenne. That's, that is like the main player here. And normally I would say that the cayenne and the cheese for a normal Flamingo Cheeto, normally those are about even, you know, it's, it's, you get about both. Here, the cayenne is, is up front and center and the cheese is sort of more of a supporting element. Now, personally, I think that's very good. I, and I like the taste of cayenne, aside from the heat. I think it adds a very nice um, sort of, you know, the peppery, um, peppery note. You know, it's a, it's a very, it's like a sharp flavor, uh, which I think is a fantastic, very enjoyable. So I, I think that that's great. And honestly, flavor here, I'm very surprised. I thought that, I honestly thought I was going to not be rating these very well on flavor. Uh, because, you know, typically when something is just like ultra, ultra spicy, flavor kind of gets sacrificed. But I think they've done a very nice job of making these not just sort of a, ch a fun challenge because of the extra spiciness, but just genuinely delicious to eat and enjoyable. So because of that, I'm going to have to give the flavor five out of five. I think they're fantastic. Uh, I think they're fantastic tasting. Now, spiciness, of course. This is the main thing. Now, really the big question is, are these twice as spicy as regular Flamin' Hot Cheetos? And my answer to that is, I'm not so sure. Now, to me, off the bat, I'm gonna say they're not twice as spicy. They are certainly spicier. These, I mean, I have been, I, it's been probably about five minutes now since I finished eating those couple that I tried and I can still feel the heat in my mouth pretty sharply. Like it is present. It is, it is on my tongue. It's even on my upper palate, which I think is very interesting. This is a heat that really surrounds the whole mouth, really coats uh, all of your taste buds. You're going to be feeling this all over. And it's a very intense focused heat. This isn't, this isn't like a, this isn't like a slow burn. This isn't like, oh, you take a bite and the heat's not quite there. This is going to hit you immediately. As soon as you take a bite, bam, your mouth is going to be on fire. Now, that being said, I don't know if they're twice as spicy. I, that, this might, and again, this might just because, uh, you know, I am very acclimated to spice. I've eaten a lot of spicy foods. So to me, you know, this, this is certainly something that's spicy, um, but it's not, you know, so like extraordinary because, you know, I'm just, I'm used to it. Now, I would say they're probably about 150% as spicy, you know, maybe not 200%, maybe like 150%, maybe even 160 or even 175% as spicy. Do I think they're twice as spicy? Maybe not quite. I have heard, and this is not original, you know, my original saying, but I have heard these described as being like the first time you you eat Flamin' Hot Cheetos. You know, a lot of times the first time you eat Flamin' Hot Cheetos, unless you're like, you've just grown up eating spicy food. A lot of times the first time you eat them, they're like, whoa, these are crazy. How can anybody eat them? They're so spicy. How do people just casually eat whole bags of these? Um, and I can agree that is very similar to the experience. You know, like eating this, I, I feel like I would have a hard time eating as much of these as I do Flamin' Hot Cheetos, you know? Like, like Flamin' Hot Cheetos, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, could, I could kill a whole bag of Flamin' Hot Cheetos, like this size in a day. I could easily do that, no question. I don't normally, but I could, but I could. This, not so much. My mouth, I'd probably have to take a break and, and break, you know, you know, break this down over the course of a day or two. So, you know, I, I think that's a good sentiment. These are these are very much like like the first time you eat Flamin' Hot Cheetos all over again. Now, that being said, um, if, you, if you're an experienced spicy connoisseur such as myself, you'll probably be able to take these on fairly well. I definitely recommend like the challenge of it because it really does feel like, it really does feel like Frito-Lays is like, is like reaching out to all of us uh, Flamin' Hot fanatics. Like, oh, you think, oh, you think you've mastered the Flamin' Hot Cheetos. We'll give the extra hot a try. So I definitely recommend like giving them a try, seeing how you feel about them. 
Um, however, if you are an amateur to the spice, if you are sort of new to the flaming Hot fandom, as it were, uh, these are definitely going to be a challenge for you. If you, if you can barely already handle uh, regular flaming Hot Cheetos, you're definitely going to have a hard, hard time with these. So are they twice as spicy? Eh, I don't know. But are they extra spicy? Absolutely. So spiciness, I am only going to give this a four out of five because for two reasons. One, uh, one being that it doesn't quite deliver on the promise. They're not extra, extra spicy. Um, however, I will say that they are fairly spicy. Now, the second point I'm going to make is that the spiciness is, is almost gratuitous. It, it, it almost hinges on like, come on, this is a little bit much. Like I said, like, I just, I mean, they say 21 which, I mean, I feel like I could probably do 21, but I couldn't do, like, a lot of these, you know? So it's, like, because the extra spiciness almost makes it, like, it's not a... It, it, it's, like, not, like, something... It's, it's hard to casually eat, I guess is what I'm just trying to say. So because of that, it's going to knock it off a little bit. So that being said, I actually think this is a great product. And I am... I'm impressed. I really thought that this was going to be something I was going to eat. I was going to be like, this is kind of trash. It's just too spicy. It's, it's, it's more of a challenge than it is an actual snack. But I actually think it's pretty good. I think there's something here. It's not quite perfect. Um, but I think that they've done a good job. So I would recommend these for Flame and Hot Cheetos uh, enthusiasts. But if you are still sort of, you know, feeling out, you're still trying things when it comes to Flame and Hot Cheetos, you know, maybe wait. You know, th this is sort of like the next level. Um, so yeah, so that's going to be my review. So five out of five on texture. Perfect. It's Cheetos. Uh, five out of five on, five out of five on flavor. I think they've done a great job of balancing the extra, extra spicy with the sort of cheesy corn chip like flavor. Um, but spiciness, I think four out of five, I think it could have just been a little bit better, maybe tweaked a little bit. All right. So that's going to be the review. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please, you know, remember to like, comment, uh, subscribe for more, uh, share it please with your friends if you enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, if you really want to see me eat 21 Cheetos on, on camera, uh, you know, leave a comment let, letting me know. Uh, anyway, thank you again for watching, and uh, hope you have a great day.